Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2. Brand new game, just came out in early access. It is a game where you run a, uh, a game development studio. So let's start our company here. We'll go with Luchara Games. And then for our logo, all the rip-off. Logos of real companies, and then there should be yeah, some just fun logos down here. Now let's roll the dice with this one. Company headquarters, so this uh, each country has a special genre, which means a bonus of 3% on the sales. As a Canadian, I feel like I should go Canada, but first person shooters don't come very early in the game. But we'll put it anyway, just for flavor. Level difficulty medium, start year 76. Game speed normal, number of competitors. Yeah, we'll leave it at 71. We'll roll with that. Well, let's just randomize this a few times. Wow, that is quite a beard. Look at that beard. <laughs> is there such thing as no facial hair? Oh my god, they don't have a mouth. That's why they have a beard. <laughs> oh, let's roll with something here. Sure. Alright. So. Player name, Luchera. Perks. Let's take a look at these perks. CEO. Your character does not lose motivation. Okay, I can't take that one off. That's fine. That sounds good, though. Star Designer. Star Designers create hype for games they work on. That sounds good. So how many perks can I pick? Ooh, wow, I can pick five perks. Four plus this one. Inexhaustible employees do not need breaks. That sounds okay. Error-free. Error-free employees never create bugs. Oh, that's good. Especially early on. Well, <laughs> I'm basing all this off my experience with Mega Games Tycoon 1. I haven't played two yet, but in one, you eventually get a QA department that squashes all your bugs for you, but you don't start with that. So having somebody create no bugs early game would be amazing in one. I'm assuming it will be in two. I may be wrong. Talented employees learn faster. Critical work results occur significantly more frequently. Huh, that sounds interesting. Sporty, the movement speed is increased. Yeah. Orderly. Order, ordinary employees do not make dirt and garbage. Okay. Medical miracle. Employees with a strong immune system never get sick. Iron. These employees do not go to the toilet during work hours. Okay. Leadership. Employees with strong leadership skills give a bonus if they're deployed as lead developer. An all-rounder. The limit for secondary abilities is increased. So you have one primary ability, it looks like. And then secondary, so I'm assuming... Red is my current, and the gray is my max. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that. That's That would seem to pair well with talented, right? So since we have a higher cap, we want to reach it faster. And do we want hype? I feel like we should have taken at least one of these things... Where, you know, doesn't go to the point, doesn't get sick, doesn't need breaks. I feel like we should have taken one of those. But I like hype. Hype is good. Again, I'm basing this off my experience with one. But early, you do have a marketing department late game, but early on, you don't. So it would be nice early game. Ah, let's go with that. If it's wrong, it's wrong. So these are, I can go programmer, graphic artist, sound artist, office worker, game tester. Okay, so in the other game, in part one, and I know I'm talking about part one a lot, there was just these five skills, and this was called office work. There was no game testing. Your QA department went off these skills. So this will be for the QA, and this will be for your console, if you want to develop console. 
it went off of programming in one and research I guess went off game design in one so I'll go game designer so I have so I had 50 so let's obviously we'll jack that up a bit and we'll do our primary game design uh, skills we'll do a little bit of research because I'm sure I'm gonna have to research early on there that makes sense to me sure let's get it going disable tutorial no we'll leave the tutorial on random platform popularity so we'll go with that oh I guess we can't click it yet that must be uh, not available in early access Increases, increased random factor for reviews. Now we'll leave that off. So what this does, um, I always played with it in one, but so with it off, we know the Nintendo Entertainment System or the Mimtendo or whatever they call it in this is going to be popular. If we clicked it, maybe, you know, the Sega or some other system would be more popular. But... It's obviously disabled. Thanks for purchasing Mad Games Tycoon 2. Please keep in mind that the early access version still lacks many features. The game is unbalanced in some places and bugs may occur. Furthermore, all translations are very faulty. Have fun. Alright, that's fine. It's early access. Alright, let's get a pause in here. Hello and welcome to Mad Games Tycoon 2. I'll explain to you the basics of the game. Let's start with how to move the camera. WASD. Or that way. Okay. Can also rotate and zoom. Y and X. That's weird because those are, keys are nowhere near each other. Or that works too. Okay. As you probably noticed, you need to build a studio in your garage. To earn some extra money, you should sell your old sports car. Click on old sports car. Sell item. Ooh, $20,000. Nice. Now we should start building your game studio. To build rooms, you need to click the mark button and select the room you want. Alright, so we'll go with uh, development. To design a room, hold down the left mouse button while moving your mouse. Keep in mind this room must have a door. Design the room, place the door. So I can't go in there, I guess. Yeah, we'll go 4x5 put a door here sure plus accept ooh 50,000 so much for my sports car money now you should buy some objects for your room every employee needs a workplace but you should also make sure that your employees do not freeze or work in a dirty environment alright so we can only buy the basic desk for now so we'll buy a basic desk what else can we get for them here Trash can. Put that there, I guess. Water dispenser. How do I rotate it? Yeah. Uh, medicine cabinet heating, electric heating. Clock lamp. Yeah, all this stuff we don't need right now, I don't think. It's important to know that your employees have needs that should be met. Dissatisfied employees tend to quit. Therefore, a lounge and a toilet is a must for any game studio. So can I do the lounge and the toilets now? Probably should. Toilets probably don't need to be very big, right? Toilet. Great, how do I rotate this? Uh, I can't figure out how to rotate stuff, that's fine. We'll just build one toilet for now. Wash basin, trash can, hand dryer. There. And we won't worry about the lounge just yet. 
Now you should assign your game character to the development room. To do this, click on your game character and drop him into the development room. He will automatically go to a desk and wait for your instructions. Now we can finally develop a game. To give the room a task, click on the button above the room. A menu of various options appears. Develop a game. New game, obviously. Can't do a sequel. You have many different settings available for your games. Scroll through all the pages of the menu and customize the game to your liking. When you're done, click on the button with the green tick. Alright, so lead designer me, standard game. Ooh, free to play, dirty. Game size B is our only option. Target group children. I don't know what kind of game we make in here. Main genre, huh? Skill game, I guess. Main topic will be spaceships. Can't do any of this other stuff just yet. So we will name this game Spaced Out. Because why not? So I can barely see this. What do these other buttons do? Fan letters, game analysis, game concepts. The main platform must be selected. So we'll put it on the upper one, I guess. Without a oh no engine. Can we buy it? Oh, there's no engines yet. Alright, so we'll go to the next screen. At least one language must be selected. We'll go English. So this is a skill game, so I'm going to say game length is better, game play is better, content, we'll leave those as they are, I'm going to put game play up, sure, at least one game play feature must be selected, so let's, can we select both, yeah. All right, and that's it. Select the fastest game speed. You can now see your game character working on your game. Once the game is completed, a menu will appear to publish the game. Oh, primitive AI. So what's this little half-satisfied face mean, I wonder? New research available. Local high scores. So we're going to need a research room here soon. Alright, so we're done. So that's our high score and everything, of course, because it's our first game ever. Okay, so obviously we're going to have to change our uh, UI size or, our, or something. Because we can't see everything, and that's not good. So let's find a publisher. So fan base skill game, fan base adventure. So this has a bigger market strength. This has a higher payment, and their fan base is the game that we made. So we'll go with this one. All right, so we leveled up a relationship with that publisher. Leveled up in skill game, leveled up in the genre, leveled up on the console, and leveled up the various things we put into the game. Except overview how many games are currently available, which will also have the genre skill game or the subtopic or the topic spaceships. So there's none, so that's great. Space data to see the following age classification from the MGSR. No age, we design it for children. The plot and gameplay isn't really outstanding, but it's not bad either. Unfortunately, the graphics are mediocre at best, even by genre standards. The game's sound effects are acceptable, but nothing special. The game's controls are not outstanding, but there are worse genre representatives. In conclusion, the game didn't blow any of us away. 46% could be worse. Congratulations, you've now published your first game. And learn the most basic features of Mad Games Tycoon 2. Continue to familiarize yourself with the features of the game. Build more rooms, hire new employees, explore new things, and develop the next super hit. Have fun. 
that's it for the tutorial so how much would it cost to build holy crap look at the size of this room so we can buy all this eventually and make it our own how much is this one <laughs> 95 million yeah how much is this one still a million <laughs> way more than I have five million six million yeah I mean we could take a loan for that but I don't think that's worth it all right let's overview employees just me all right let's job market actually I'm just gonna put a pause in the video and I'm gonna get uh, this resolution problem or whatever it is figured out I'll be right back all right I am back I just re reduced the size of the the uh, screens so now if I go in everything's there so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a couple of rooms. We're going to make our lounge for the for the folks. How big do we want to make the lounge? Not very big. Doesn't need to be very big at this point in the game. I don't think. Put the door there. Old arcade cabinet. Alright, so right mouse wheel or there. I figured out how to rotate stuff. I guess it says right there on the screen. Uh, what else do we want in here? A couple chairs, maybe. Chairs for the crew. Bridge. Oh, TV. Oh, can't do a modern TV because it's 1976. Makes sense, right? Throw the cross some chairs. Throw uh, some heating in here. Water dispenser. What way is front with this? Right there, okay. There. Welcome to the lounge, folks. And now we will make a research room. That here maybe yeah let's put it here throw a door in a couple of workplaces I don't think I'm going to need four <laughs> for the people, but we'll put them in anyway. And I'm going to throw a couple plants in right in the middle. <laughs> don't worry. You can, you can walk around the plant. I'm pretty sure you'll manage. And we're going to put a couple more items In here we'll also have four desks in here is the plan yeah we don't really have wall space for this eh? because the stupid heaters in the way can I sell the heater can I move the heater yeah let's just move the heater there there actually let's put uh, a couple plants in here too if we can find room all right I'm putting the plants in because when I looked at the employee list I noticed there was a couple of people who liked having plants 
So when this guy also doesn't go to the toilet. So he's a research specialist. So here's the thing. I could fill both my rooms right now. There's enough people here. Right? But do I want to? This early. So, never freeze. Critical work results in luck. So she has really good research. Maybe I'll just hire these two people for research, put them in the research, and then I'll get three more for my development room. Yeah. Put the two research specialists in the research room. And then we will hire so what does he do? Modest employees do not need high quality office equipment, okay? These people have a lot of perks. Inexhaustible, loyal, lucky, and a medical miracle. Come on down, go Chiyahara. Welcome to the squad. <laughs> what we got here? Air free. Loyal, lucky, and never freezes. But, they were a hardware engineer, and I don't need hardware engineer right now. Does not take breaks. Does not go to the toilet. Strong leadership skills. All around her. Lena, come on down. One more. We got lucky and never freezes. So this person's lucky, never freezes, and is talented and is loyal. If they're marketing support, I don't need a marketing and support right now. I don't think. So game design specialty, I feel like, is better than me right now. So come on down, Edeltrude. All right, now that we get that on the go, so what can we research? Genres, topics, engine features, gameplay features, miscellaneous, hardware, hardware is locked. So gameplay features, oh, controller support, and local high scores. So genre, we can unlock adventure, puzzle game, and racing. Oh, racing is its own genre now. It used to be part of uh, sports. Or it was a topic, not a genre, I guess. Agriculture, agents, airplanes. Oh, this is a lot of topics. Clampner, um, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it didn't get translated. Cricket, for uh, the parts of the world that like cricket, and I know there are parts of the world that really like cricket. All right, so let's just do gameplay features, controller support, and over here we will develop a game. Lead designer. Wait, so I got to look at my employees for a sec. I forget what I took for myself. Did I take the leader one? No, I did not. I didn't take any leaders, did I? I didn't take the leader person. So the, the game wants Adeltrude to be the lead designer. I guess she just has higher stats right now. I mean, that works for me. Or myself. It'll true to be the lead designer. I'm fine with that. Game size B, children. Main genre has to be skill game. Main topic. We'll go octopuses, I guess. We'll put this one for teenagers. I don't know if that really matters. And what will we call this? I don't know. I, I want to just put octopussy. <laughs> Octopus Revenge. We'll keep her PG. Main platform. We'll go up a one again. It has all the market share, right? 92.5%. So obviously we're going to roll with that. 
So we'll put all our features in here. Primitive AI, speaker sound. So yeah, we don't really have an option here. Now well, let's try, let's just probably put these at 25. We'll put these all in the middle just to see if it's any better than the last one was. Put those on. Probably just a gameplay feature in app purchases. Oh, I feel gross just looking at that. Basic costs, technology, content features. So I can skimp on this stuff if I want, eh? But we won't. We'll pay it out. At least most language. Oh. How much more is it if I put every language in? Wow, that's a lot more. I wonder if each language is way the same. Like let's like let's just put in a couple more extra languages, see if that does anything. Alright. Let's see how this game is compared to our first one. So they're flying through that research. So we'll also look at that. Maybe we should have waited for this research to done before we made the game. So we got better graphics, but worse than everything else. So let's search for a publisher. Same publishers as before. We'll take this one again. We'll, we'll build up our, our relationship with them. We get a little better at all this stuff, which is nice. Yeah, so there was already the genre because we made it. Okay, so... Apparently you can have a rating for six and above. So that is was worse. We had 49, I think, our first one. There are no innovations in the gameplay. The developers satisfied with theirs. No, I'm not. I'm not, I swear. The graphics look loveless and unpolished to me. The sound effects probably come from a standard library. Everything is just average quality. The average control system requires some time to adjust to. In my opinion, in very many points, the game is average at most. Hmm. I think they think the game is average, but I'm not sure. All right, well, that was a good little uh, first day or two in the game here. I'm going to cut the video now. If you enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you want me to keep going with this one. I mean, I probably will. I do enjoy this game. And I will see you in the next one.